Hey friends, welcome back to another vlog. Today's video is gonna be just very casual, very relaxed, and kind of chill and probably pretty random. I decided to just pick up the camera over the past couple of days and film things here and there whenever we actually do something interesting because we don't have that much going on, obviously. And so I wanted to be able to just kind of put out a video of what we're doing here day to day. And you guys will have to leave me a comment down below and let me know what you're doing. Are you staying busy or are you pretty boring? at this point I feel like I'm kind of a mixture of both I try and like get up and keep myself busy and do like my normal things throughout the day um, just so I can like stay positive and motivated but there are definitely times where I'm just like I don't want to do anything but sit on the couch and watch movies and it has been really dreary here today so um, over the next couple of days we are supposed to get some really pretty weather it's supposed to be very warm and sunshine and I'm going to take full advantage of it that to me is like what really helps keep me sane it's like on pretty days getting outside as much as possible taking walks having my coffee outside in the morning with all the birds chirping like there is nothing like more joyful than that to me so if you guys have not done that and you have pretty weather I highly encourage you to get outside I promise it just does the heart so much good so anyway I thought I would just jump on here and kind of chit chat really fast with you guys kind of fill you in on what we're doing. Bunky is obviously working from home still, so he's doing his normal day-to-day um, -day things. And I've just been doing lots of like behind the scenes stuff on YouTube, editing and things like that, and then trying to film whenever I can. Um, I wanna get out some like really good content for you guys and things that just inspire you and motivate you. I wanna like share some good recipes and just stuff like that. So I'm hoping these videos are just kind of bringing you a smile and and a laugh to your day and bring you a little bit of encouragement um, like I said this video is gonna be really random I've done all kinds of just crazy things um, I even got really wild and cut Daisy Mae's hair by myself like y'all what is this world coming to literally we were outside this was like last week and it was so warm and she was like panting because I knew she needed a haircut really soon and it just like got hot all of a sudden here and um I was like well crud I can't take her to get her haircut so I literally got out my cutting shears if you guys don't know this I went to hair school for eight weeks um when we lived in Florida long story but anyway I still have like my scissors from that so I got them out and I started cutting her hair I think she looks adorable. Bunky says that she does not look cute and that I'm gonna have to take her to get it like professionally done as soon as this is over, but I think I did a pretty good job. So anyway, we have just been, you know, doing things around our house and just trying to stay busy. Bunky's been doing some stuff in the yard and that has been really good. We have the worst problem with like weeds right now. So we're trying to kill all the weeds and just kind of zhuzh up our flower beds. I couldn't think of a better word. And, um, We'll probably cook some dinner together tonight. I need to do lots of cleaning. And so, yes, it's just gonna be a video compiled of all of these random things. So anyway, I hope you guys will enjoy. And if this is your first time here, I would love for you to join my YouTube family. So before you leave, be sure you hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you guys wanna see more vlogs. But let's just get into this video. You gonna let me see your haircut now, ma'am? Yeah, I think you look cute. We shouldn't listen to your dad. He's telling you lies. I think I did a really good job on her haircut. Oh, sorry, Munchie. I mean, she's a little uh, bald in some places. <laughs> it's okay, see, I'm still cute. 
Okay, so I ordered a package of all of these lights from Amazon a couple of weeks ago, and I have just never put them up, but I was like, I really wanna do this, and obviously, um, I'm kind of getting bored at this point, so I was like, well, now's a good time to do it. I already did one of them, and let me show you what a difference this thing makes, and it has a remote control, which I'll use in a second. It is gonna make, like, all underneath here looks so pretty. I am so excited. Like at nighttime, that is what I love. It's just like soft lighting instead of all the overhead lights. And I can set it to like a timer. Um, and I think it has like a dimmer on it and all kinds of stuff. So I'm so excited to play with it. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, y'all, I am literally obsessed. I don't know why I did not put these up as soon as I got them, but I am so excited because I feel like that is like the coziest lighting. I just think it's so pretty, and I'm so excited that I can like put them on a timer um, and not have to like fiddle with them. I just love this. I will link them down below for you guys if you want to get them too. Okay, so now on to a little cleaning. First thing I wanted to do was get the sheets off the bed and get them in the washing machine. I don't think there is a better feeling than like climbing into bed at night with fresh, clean sheets. That is one of my favorite feelings in the entire world. So our bathroom countertops always stay so cluttered. Everything just gets thrown up there and I really want to do a better job of keeping them clean and wiped down. So I was like, let me go ahead and organize these drawers, which I have not organized or cleaned out. And I couldn't tell you how long I literally found so much like dust and just hair and grossness in there. Like I'm honestly embarrassed to show you guys, but it felt really good to get that done. And now I'm going to try and do a really good job of keeping everything clean clean and put back where it's supposed to go. So while I was going through all of these hair products, I figured I would just show you guys a couple of my favorite ones. This is the IGK Beach Club. It is a hair texturizer. It smells so good and is probably one of my all time favorite hair products. This is the Bedhead Masterpiece Hairspray and it also smells so good and is like one of my favorite hairsprays ever. And then this is a Way Leave-In Conditioner. I actually got that in a FabFitFun box and it has become my favorite. I love it so much. And then this Aussie Dry Shampoo is what I've been using for about the past month and it is also incredible and gives your hair so much volume and very inexpensive. So desperate times call for desperate measures. I totally did not buy enough soap before all of this stuff started. So we are using this fall autumn breeze soap because that is literally what we had in our house. So I know I've never showed you guys like really what our bedroom looks like or anything and that's because it's always a disaster because of me. Bunky keeps his clothes folded and up off the floor for the most part. Sometimes he gets messy but I'm telling you I am like just 
the messiest person ever in the world so I just have clothes everywhere and that is something I really want to work on and if anything over this like quarantine time I'm like okay I have to get all of my clothes up and just like create a space that feels like peaceful and somewhere that I want to like walk into in our bedroom because at this point it's just not and since we've moved in this is like the one area in our house that we've never really done anything with we haven't even painted it if you can tell um and I know that's crazy because it's our bedroom and we should like want it to be our little sanctuary so I really want to change that and like do some things this year and make it look very like adult and beautiful and all of that um so anyways once i get it more cleaned i will show you guys but you know like everywhere is obviously closed and i can't go like buy home decor and stuff so i was trying to like go downstairs and find things that we weren't using um yesterday to put up a few things in our bedroom so i'll show you what i've done it's obviously like not what i would like love or it's not perfect, I don't know, but it is nice to have some cute decor pieces in here for the time being. So I'm gonna flip you guys around and show you what I did yesterday. So over here next to like our little doorway that goes into our bathroom, we have this tall dresser. And fun fact, I actually let Bunky pick out our bedroom suit whenever we were picking out furniture for this house, mainly because I had picked out everything downstairs. So I was like, you can have your say so and get what you want for our bedroom. And at first I did not like how like dark this was, but it's growing on me. so. I'm dealing with it. So anyway, on top of here, I just like had all of these things randomly sitting downstairs. So I put two little like flameless candles in there with some lamb's ear. This was just like sitting in my little beauty room. And then that was just like in a corner downstairs. So I was like, okay, this kind of looks farmhouse -y, works together. And then um, I had this little like candle stand. This is actually a fall candle, the leaves one. Um, but since it's not fall, I just turn it around backwards and it looks really pretty. And then Bunky's mom actually got us this lamp, I think from Goodwill, but it's like either Opal House or um, Threshold from Target. And she bought it like brand new, so I was like, I love the texture of it. I think it's so cute. Um, and then I had this lampshade, so I just put the two together. So honestly, I'd rather do our room more in like this themed, like kind of not so farmhousey, but more like boho. Um, so I'll probably change that out. But for the time being, I was like, you know what? This space is clean and it looks pretty, so it made me happy. And then over here next to our long dresser and our TV, we were not using this tray downstairs, so I brought that up here. And then this is kind of like, I think it's a fake one of these candles. It's called Capri Blue, but it um, smells like the ones from Anthropology, like the volcano one. And I just love the blue and white. I think it's so pretty. So anyways, I brought that up here and then we weren't using this. So I brought that and just put this big flower and lamb's ear in there to kind of give it some color and spring vibes and then I just had this like gold O that we got at Hobby Lobby years ago and so I put that here and I don't know you guys I'm feeling inspired to actually like decorate our bedroom and make it look really nice and pretty so it is much later in the evening now and Bunky and I are about to cook some dinner we're both having like two totally separate things i had bought bunky some shrimp and so we want to use those before they go bad so he's going to make kind of like an asian inspired dish we're going to do some shrimp with like some soy sauce honey roasted red pepper flakes garlic all of that and then he's going to have it with some rice and broccoli and roasted red peppers i think it's going to be really yummy and then i'm having total opposite we have like two of these chicken tenders left so i'm going to bake them and then make my favorite like hot sauce and all you need to make it is literally franks some butter and some cracked black pepper it is the best hot sauce ever so i'm going to have um kind of like Zaxby's kick and chicken sandwich if you've ever had that so I'm gonna toast my bread and then put my tenders in this buffalo sauce with some ranch oh my gosh does not sound so good so anywho that is what Bunky and I are cooking and we figure we just cook along with you B is excited for his dinner I really am I, I think it's gonna be great because uh -huh. I don't ever get my Chinese food type with with you uh-huh I like it so okay but not that much we'll split it tonight yeah and Bunky made us these like um, jalapeno margaritas. Oh my gosh, they were delicious. We literally cut up a jalapeno, like a real one, and let it soak in tequila for a little bit to make it kind of spicy. It's delicious. He's gonna start cutting up and doing his broccoli and I'm gonna cut up these little carrots into small pieces for him to put in his little um, stir fry as well.
Look at me cutting Funky's carrots diagonal. I wanted them to look pretty in his stir fry. Um, also, I wanted to ask you guys, what are you doing for dinners? Are you kind of getting creative at this point? Are you trying to do just super low key dinners without lots of ingredients? I feel like that's kind of what we're doing, although we are still trying to have like date night at home and have one nice dinner a week. Um, but we are definitely using like what's in our pantry and our freezer. So our what's for dinner videos may look a little bit different over the next couple of weeks. So to start this sauce for Bunky's stir fry, I'm just doing a little bit of olive oil with some butter and then roasted red pepper flakes and lots of garlic. I'll kind of let that simmer for just a few minutes and kind of like marry together. And then I will add in some honey and some soy sauce. Bunky's gonna add a little bit of this, um, what is it, roasted red pepper to his yeah. as well. And then I'm gonna top it with some sriracha in just a little bit. It's gonna be good, girl. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my little buffalo sauce. I forgot to tell y'all. Go ahead and throw this in Garlic. There. Yeah, let's see why not. Oh, by the way, we put some of this like boiling water in here to give it some more liquid, and it looks so good now. Mm. Sure, going in next. Okay, so to my melted butter, I'm just going to add in my buffalo sauce, lots of pepper, and then a huge clove of fresh garlic. Okay, B's getting his rice out of the water. Do you want me to do that so you can add your shrimp? I'm gonna set this here. Check that out. Oh, that's smart. I like your style. Yeah. I'm sure this event is so loud. Sorry, y'all. Shrimp. Mm -hmm. I'll stir this in a second. I can stir them. I'm gonna hit with a little sriracha. Put some more soy sauce in there too. Okay. Crank up the heat for a second. Bump. I cannot stop laughing about me trying to figure out that toaster. But anyway, I wanted to tell you guys, if you have never tried this buffalo sauce, I highly recommend it. Like if you're making wings or any type of buffalo chicken recipe, that is the yummiest, most delicious buffalo sauce ever. Like I am watching this back and totally want to go make this exact same sandwich all over again. Okay, this is Bunky's. It looks amazing. Tell us what you think, B. The shrimp themselves look so good, I will say. They look so fresh. Mm-hmm. 
That's very yummy. I feel like maybe it needed more sriracha. I didn't taste it, but I was thinking to myself, it could be like more spicy. No, it's got some. Mm, no, it's got some back end heat to it. It's actually good. Okay, because they're because of their red pepper flakes, probably. Yum, mm -hmm. y'all. I feel like this is gonna be incredible. I'm so excited to eat this. Okay, so on all of our road trips, Bunky and I always stop at Zaxby's and get the kickin' chicken sandwich. It's like our favorite thing. And this tastes almost identical to it. Like, it is so freaking delicious. It is so yummy. So both of us got exactly what we wanted for dinner tonight. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. I hope you enjoyed this super random vlog and just spending some time with us. I love you guys so very much. I hope you're doing great, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.